Hello, my name is Hafe, and I'm going to recreate the Northern Lights using this picture in After Effects. Uh, this is not a tutorial, I'm just going to do it really quickly to see how I did it after doing immense amount of research on how to make the Northern Lights. So, the Northern Lights, if you don't know what it is, it's like a photon particles from the sun that hits the Earth's atmosphere and causes green pretty dancing lights in the sky usually somewhere up north Going to there we go this is the particle system that I've been using it's a very common plugin in After Effects and we're going to change that into some spectacular northern lights now I have I'm researching the settings, doing all that. I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna do this really quickly. So um, I will probably make maybe later an exact tutorial how to do this if people are interested. But as of now, I'm just doing this fairly quickly. Um, let me see. Right now, it's range lines. This is actually. Not what we're going for, but still changing the settings. Yeah, um, focusing on the gravity. Uh, um, and the resistance. Very important thing. Direction. But I can change that a little bit later. It actually has to go up. So I will rotate it a little bit longer because the northern lights they actually flow like curtains in the wind. Sad, sad probably made a song about it. Let me see. We're gonna be turning this into stars because they're actually the thickest that I can find from the particle type. And going with this, I'm gonna make it really quick, really tight and um, thick. Uh, uh, the size variation. Um, going all out on that one, and then the colors. The colors is the most important thing when it comes to the lights, but it should also be remembered if you haven't seen the northern lights before. Um, the northern lights actually has, actually has way more wavelength than I can the. Sorry, the human eye can um, uh, grab onto. So, um, so when you see the northern lights, they're actually really, you know, gray like green. But in photographs, it's usually um, they are usually changed, um, you know, color balance and to make them a little prettier. So I'm just gonna do that too. There we go. This is. This is what I need from the particle system. Now we're going to change it a little bit further. I'm going to start by actually adding a transformation so I can um, so I can rotate it and scale it like I want without scaling the layer itself and skew it a little bit. Uh, um, there we go, and we could actually just go like this and skew it a little bit more. There we go. Then we have just the whole line from the trees covered in lights. And I'm also going to shrink it. There we go. This is just doing it very quickly, but with you know, with patience and you know, wanting to do this, you can actually make really realistic, good looking lights. There we go. So, let's rotate it. Uh, see, I just want it to go up. Yeah. I hate when that happens. There. And let's lower the opacity. So it looks like it's in the sky. Next, we are going to the the actual lights. After doing some research, is actually has a motion blur to it. 
but I'm just going to add because yeah the lights are always moving but I'm just going to add a Gaussian blur and I'm going to go really far with that so the lights actually started to you know feel like the northern lights uh, um next we're gonna make the lights glow which is something that lights actually do they glow in the sky there we go right this is a little bit too much so I'm gonna put the green one a little bit lower here and the radius of it going a little bit up so we actually can get a little bit of a line going with the green one and let's just intensify it a little bit like this let's check if this works right this looks all right and then we are going to shape it and you know the northern lights can actually they um, you know like a like a road where cars drive through you know it it has a path so we're going to make a bit of a path I'm going to add this little thing and make it a little bit of a grid and then just start shaping it um, I can basically do it however I want my computer gets a little bit slow in this process and but it's not it's my computer's fault it won't happen if you uh, I'm just on a very cheap laptop doing this there we go a little shape and I'm going to put the opacity a little bit more down just so they don't look not like this there we go the northern lights you can also add you know a 3D perspective on it so it wouldn't actually just be going up uh, we can put it on the side like this this actually looks pretty good there we go of course don't have time to render it you can also if you want it doesn't only come in green the normal lights you can actually um, duplicate them and I'm gonna put it a little bit further up and it finally goes there we go and you know I'm gonna reset the shaping tool there we go and I'm going to make them a little bit more red there's one so one rule of thumb when it comes to the northern lights it's that um it actually has you know three types of northern lights but it depends on the altitude in the atmosphere of where it goes so the green is always in the middle if you're lucky enough to see the horizon and no mountains and you know you're in a flat land you might see blue lights and then on the top they become uh, red or magenta like so I'm actually on the top right now, so I'm gonna make it look like this. The green one. Um yeah, maybe. Somehow like this. Um, and we can then start shaping it like a road. This is basically just when I'm trying to shape it, it sometimes goes into something else. It's just because my computer is way too slow. And there we go, a little bit of shape. Maybe put the opacity a little bit down. Because they're supposed to be in the sky, blending up with them. There we 
go a little less light on it and maybe put put it a little bit like this and there we go now you can pretty much you know do whatever you want and if you're one thing that's also really beautiful about this is that you can in afterwards you can keyframe everything so if you want the lights to actually move like this in the sky like it's a time-lapse video or something then that's no problem um, the lights are actually pretty unordinary the one on top so I'm just gonna turn the green so that's basically it that's how I did it um, pretty easy procedure but uh, you know knowing how the lights work is a good thing to have and we have here the northern lights thank you